secret weapon. <laughs> What's that, Piggy? <laughs> David had white trainers on earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Picked a, a nice, still, warm, humid, perfect conditions. And now, unfortunately, we've got a bit of a windy evening. Um, but, you know, if it's on and uh, you're getting a bit of a, a lull behind a bit of wood um, where there's not a lot of gust of wind, you know, you've got a good chance. Yeah, so we thought we'd give it, give it a go. And failing tonight, we might try tomorrow morning, so I know tomorrow morning can be still. So, fingers crossed for tonight. Walking along here, there's a, there's a young four point, just a four point buck uh, laid down 20, 25 yards back in the cover here, in the bracken. Lay down there resting, obviously the wind's pushed him down. Didn't get a clear enough shot so I give him a couple of squeaks to get him to stand up. We're probably a little bit close. It's good, good to see a buck, get a bit of action, get a bit of, get a bit of movement. I thought he'd stand when he, before he got to the thick cover, but he didn't want to know, so it's good. We'll move on to the next. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. See him? Yeah. Do you know what, right? I'll be honest with you. I sort of knew you couldn't see it, but I knew it was my only opportunity. <laughs> when it's a broadside and the excitement's on, he came, we saw, oh, I didn't. and David, big fat, he must be the white trainers, it's bleached his eyes and made him blind. But like I say, he gave me the shot opportunity um, and, ah, you know, perfect shot, I'll say, <sighs> on a perfect row rut cool in windy conditions in the afternoon which is absolutely perfect i'm actually uh, i'm actually over the moon shame about that but that's that's hunting i can't get it perfect for the cameraman every time <laughs> come on let's go and have a look at him he's really good condition in his coat really strong neck a few marks up through here I'm feeling now you can actually feel quite a few slight marks where he's been maybe possibly fighting um, but yeah he's, he's he's not in the top condition you see see his heel up you see his spine you know up through the middle there so he's he been working hard this boy has um, again see his hips hips coming through here he's not in, he's not in bad condition he's just he's just been working hard he's a fit fit chap or was I think this year was his last rutting year he passed on a few genes but you won't, won't be making it to next year. But that's the whole point of management. You take out the old, the, the poorer, reduce the numbers, and you get a healthy, thriving stock. Oh, perfect. The kit we got on tonight is obviously Shooter King clothing. <laughs> clothing. Um, it's actually a quite a cold night, um, and I suffer with a cold a little bit. So I've actually got them. Wow! Hey, it's the pig. Oh, you're the pig, isn't it? <laughs> quiet, poor, poor, poor key, but quiet. Um, so, <laughs> that in that thing. <laughs> Cut. Take three. <laughs> yeah. So with the Hubertus call, uh, it comes with a uh, smooth uh, mouthpiece. Uh, this is an blow. Um, so obviously a buck coming at you or, or 
in the, in the haste of excitement, you, it just pops straight in your mouth. It does. It, no matter how you, it just pops out, out. So I always cut a couple of little notches uh, in there, get the teeth in there, and then. And if it comes, you can just keep it in there. Otherwise, the other way around, you like. Whoop! And away it goes. So, yeah, it's a little tip. So you were playing two tunes <laughs> at some points in the evening. Explain that for me, Paul. Uh, the Pied Piper. Yeah, basically the whole point of these calls is you're trying to mimic, imitate another deer. She was alerted with a loud blast of the patello when she was further away. And then we put her to the squeak. So it's more like a fawn squeaking and she, you know, stamping her foot and really aggressive trying to see if the fawn was okay. Um, you always got to watch the animals and watch the reaction of the animal. No good just blasting away and hope for the best. But unfortunately, we'll have to try him on a muntjack, I think. We've run out. Percy, be quiet. He gets deflated. <laughs> that's enough. That's, the, that's, that's the, the noise. That's, well, that's, that's for muntjack. We'll save it for muntjack. We'll try it for muntjack. Yeah. Yeah, so good I'll night, Percy. <laughs> calling, everybody's got their own art of calling, you know, my methods might not be suitable for other people. Um, you tweak them each time you go out, you try something new, using the little Hubertus call to call the fox. Like I say, it wasn't the best of evenings, but it's been, for weather-wise, but it's been an absolute thumbs up for me. I really, thoroughly enjoyed it, and it's simply my bit of heaven. Yeah, it just makes the hard weeks worth it. <laughs>